Well, after a long wait, it's finally time to review Ek Echo the Dolphin. Got you. Echo the Dolphin was released in 1992 for the Sega Genesis, also known as the Mega Drive. The game is about a dolphin named Echo? Eco? Echo? That goes on a magnificent journey to find his family. When we start playing, we get a large open area to piss about in and familiarise ourselves with the controls. Pressing the A button shoots a sonar beam that allows Echo to interact with certain objects and see life. Holding the button down allows Echo to get a map of the area nearby. You would think that you could harm people with this sonar beam, but no. Echo attacks with a charge by pressing B. Pressing C repeatedly makes Echo swim faster. This is all well and good, but Echo can be a pain in the ass to position in tight situations. This dolphin here asks me how high I can fly. Challenge accepted. Wee wee woohoo yeah yeah. Well, that was unexpected. All of the creatures in this area are gone. At least this is open now. This new area greets us with hordes and hordes of jellyfish. Fuck! Didn't realise I was playing Finding Nemo the game. Super comedian right here, folks. I found this crystal thing that I can't go past, so I assume I need to unlock it. Echo has two meters. One displays his health, and the other displays his air. You need to keep an eye on the air meter, otherwise your health will start to drain. To collect air, Echo needs to jump out of the water or find an air pocket if he's in a cave. Except here where there's a fucking beginner's trap! Great! After exploring these caves, I came across another crystal, or glyph as they're calling it, as well as this orca whale who told me to talk to Big Blue about my missing pod. What? So now what? I can't go down here. I can't go down this wide open passageway. I tried following this asshole, but he can swim through walls apparently. So I went back to the first glyph and exited the level. The next level is the under caves. I find a glyph that tells me to move slow past eight arms, but nothing about how I need to push this shell into these rocks to move forward. All of a sudden, this giant octopus is blocking the way. Is this eight arms? Okay. 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 Oh, fuck! You have got to be kidding me. I didn't get a checkpoint? There are no checkpoints in this game. If you die during a level, you start the level all over again, which means everything is reset. Great! After that horse shit, we go to the vents. We have to rescue some dolphins. This requires knowing to use this rock to block the strong current so you can swim through it. Next level, the lagoon. Holy shit, a shick! It also doesn't help that I'm being raped by a fucking tentacle! More fucking dolphins to save, apparently. Where the fuck do I go? I can't find my way. It doesn't help that I keep getting murdered by jellyfish, sharks, and this dickweed. I'm surprised. This game is serving up quite a challenge. If only I knew where to go. Yes, I am stuck. I'll give these guys a call. Maybe they can help. Give me a tip or a code. Hi, and welcome to Gay Trade in association with GayTrade.com.au. Gay Trade assumes no liability for the contacts you make when using this service. Only use your first name and do not include your address or phone number. The cost of this call is 88 cents per minute and you must be the bill payer and over 18. Press zero now to get connected. 88 cents a minute? Fuck that. Hopefully their website can help me.
Well, I can't find anything about Echo the Dolphin, so I'll just leave a comment and check back later. Huh. This guy needs help on Manhunt. Interesting. What else is interesting is that that dolphin looks infected, bro. You should get that checked out. In the meantime, I'll just enter a code. Why the fuck not? The next level is just empty. Sorry, did I say empty? I meant filled with a gazillion fucking sharks. Great! The next level is an ice level. Echo can slide around on the ice. Although that doesn't help me from getting mauled by an infestation of sharks with crabs. And even with a fucking walkthrough, I can't pass this level. The map is also a worthless fuck. What is all this shit? It wouldn't be such an issue if I got a checkpoint once in a while. What happened to the good old days when playing a game about dolphins was simple and easy to understand? This is Dolphin on the Atari 2600, and that's a beautiful cover, right? An innocent dolphin being murdered by a pissed off octopussy? Let's check it out. You play as a dolphin trying to swim away from an octopus. Walls of bullshit appear out of nowhere, and you need to use the current to keep ahead. You can swim in both directions, but only switch when it's safe, otherwise you'll be dolphin soup. A seagull flies around from time to time, and if you jump out and eat it, you become invincible for a short period of time. I think. See? That was simple. No annoying map or maze-like level design filled with impossible enemies. Granted, you can't kill the octopus, but at least there isn't a wave of mutant crabs coming at me. There is another game on this cart, so we better take a quick look. Pigs and Wolf. It says wolf, but the box shows a fire-breathing dragon. Lovely. It's the Three Little Pigs Atari 2600 version. You rebuild your broken house and try to prevent pork crackling appearing on the menu. Okay, got a little sidetracked there, but that's a clear sign that I don't want to play this damn game! After traversing more crab-infested icebergs, we find Big Blue, who is actually purple, and he tells us that these storms occur every 500 years, and that we need to find the asteroid, whatever that is. A few shark shit deaths and a code later, we arrive at the asteroid, who tells us that we need to travel into the past via Atlantis, 55 million years before the present day, to find a part of him and bring it back. What sort of drugged fucked dolphin game am I playing here? Atlantis is a beautiful place. Shark infested, yes, but what more do you expect from a sunken city that happens to have a fucking time machine? It is also home to one of the most bullshit jumps in video game history. This level has an area below here. After 20 minutes of searching for anything, I came to the conclusion that I needed to jump through this gap. So far, Echo has been able to jump over islands and icebergs. Surely this should be easy. Fuck. F fuck. Fuck. Fuck! Oh my god, how the fuck did that not count? Gaytrade.com hasn't given me an answer yet, so fuck it. Enter a code. When you find the time machine, you shoot your sonar at it and get teleported to the past. A time when pterodactyls enjoy helping dolphins for some reason, and bloodthirsty trilobites rule the sea. Fuck off, fuck off! The music in this game is pleasant for the most part. It is very calming and soothing to listen to. When I'm not being gangbanged by prehistoric fucking eels! Those stars on Echo's head might as well be fucking stab wounds. Yeah. In this level, the glyph is behind a ginormous seahorse. I try to charge it and it shoots mini seahorses at me. That's like a newborn mother throwing her child at me to defend herself. Fuck off. That seahorse is just a big fucking octopussy. The walkthrough I've been following this entire time has been talking about some sort of death sonar. 
so I started button mashing until I figured out how to do it. You charge right before using the sonar, and now the sonar can be used as a weapon. Like it should have fucking been in the first place! So now where the fuck do I go? Who knows? Who cares? So I used a code to get to the next level, however doing this meant I skipped getting the thing for the asteroid and taking it back and whatever. At this point, I don't give a swimming shit. After that, the asteroid teleports me into fucking space? Next thing I know, I'm trying to steer a fucking tank through an auto-scrolling tube level while all this shit comes at me. Can't last 30 seconds. Next level. Welcome to the machine. Pink Floyd have anything to do with this? Maybe. Did they add the aliens trying to kill Echo? Another auto-scrolling level, with one difference. It's a fucking maze. There is no clear indication of where to go, and if you get caught out, you go back. What killed me? The wall? Bullshit! Fucking bullshit! Final level, and Echo has to fight a giant alien, and I die instant- what? Are you fucking kidding me? If you die on the final boss, you have to go back through the machine again. Fuck that. I tried two more times at this final boss and did nothing. So, I'm gonna call it a day. I have a question. What are your favourite levels in video games? Riding the polar bear in Crash 2? Saving turtles in Spyro 2? Traversing the tower in Jack 2. Exploring a zombie filled theme park in Left 4 Dead 2. Or, how about... Every fucking water level ever. That is what playing Echo the Dolphin is like. Yes, there are some good water levels like in Donkey Kong Country, and some of them can serve quite a challenge. But they don't make me want to throw my head at the screen while pulling my ball sack off and smashing it into a fucking light bulb. <laughs> Did you know, Echo the Dolphin creator Ed Anun Anun Anunziata said via Twitter that he didn't want the game to be beaten over a weekend by kids renting the game. So you made it so fucking hard that any kid trying to play it would sooner strangle themselves than try to beat this damn game! Well done! Echo the Dolphin gets 6 out of 10. I have three things that could have made this game better. Checkpoints, lower the difficulty, and don't try to gang fuck the dolphin with a million fucking enemies that he can't kill! I should have played fucking Sonic. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Square Eyed Jack, and have a great fucking day.